Before I worked in the cloud, I spent several years as a server administrator, and I always tried to keep it simple, and that meant that I was always on the hunt for the tool of ultimate power, so I could manage my environment and get the most done for the lowest cost. And I tried everything from the RSAT tools, PowerShell, Remote Desktop Connection Manager, Windows Server Manager, and all of those MMC snap-ins, as well as several third-party tools. And each one of them is good in their own way, but they didn't do everything. Then in 2018, Windows Admin Center came along. And it seemed like it could be the tool I was searching for, but honestly, in those early days, I didn't like it for a few reasons. The setup was really complex. You needed both internal and public-facing DNS records. You needed your own certificate authority so you could generate and push out certs as well as updates so that everything would stay secure. You needed VPNs or an SD-WAN solution so you could communicate with stuff that wasn't on your local network. And the interface was kind of bland and it was hard to know exactly what you were clicking on. And when I first used it, it crashed a lot. But I gotta tell you, Windows Admin Center has come a very long way. It's come so far, in fact, that it's evolved beyond a server into a service that's integrated right into the Azure portal. And I have been loving it. I finally have the ultimate power tool for managing my servers, and it's got a facelift, so now it's easy to navigate. And it combines the powers of all of those 20 plus tools I used to have and being part of the Azure portal means there's no servers to set up. You don't need those certificate authorities or DNS configurations, but it doesn't stop there because everything is handled directly in the cloud. Your VMs don't need public IP addresses, VPNs, or express routes. And that minimizes complexity and cost. And the icing on the cake is you can manage your on-prem servers with Admin Center just by enabling them through Azure Arc. And that doesn't cost anything. Let me show you how. Open any server VM in the Azure portal, and on your left, you'll find Windows Admin Center. To set it up, you just click the Install button at the bottom, and this will deploy an agent onto that VM and set up a server endpoint to connect to. And then you can sign into the VM like you always would and get to work. And there's a ton that you can do in here. Over on the left, you can see the server snap-in functions like certificates for users and computers, device management, event logs, file sharing, what apps are installed on the machine, managing the local users and groups and scheduled tasks, the registry, services, disk management, and then there's all of the admin tools that you would need like the firewall manager, task manager, performance monitoring, network packet capture, and you can also have remote control through RDP or PowerShell. You can also manage your Windows updates or add roles and features on the fly. And you can click the settings gear down at the bottom and configure the SMB security requirements, environment variables, power configurations, and RDP security. All of that packed into a single tool. There's nothing that this thing can't do. But that doesn't mean that it's perfect. As of this recording, this service is in preview, and the biggest limitation here is the gateway model of Admin Center is not part of the portal solution yet. And that means you have to manage each server directly instead of one single pane of glass for everything. And like you saw a minute ago, the onboarding of the servers is pretty manual too. Now in the future, I'd love to see a checkbox during that VM build experience right there on the management tab, or some kind of VM extension to make this easier. Then Admin Center would be ready to go as soon as the VM is built. So let's turn our attention to the network security side of things. Now the Azure portal-based solution of Admin Center will do all of its magic through a single outbound port. And for many of you who lock things down using network security groups or firewalls, it means you have to add a rule for all that communication. So here in my NSG, let's add a new outbound rule. Now the source for this will be a service tag, the source port will be virtual network. The destination will also use a service tag, and the tag for this is Windows Admin Center. The service will be HTTPS, which is port 443. And then when you scroll down, the action should be to allow. And then for the priority number, use the next one that's in your particular NSG. Now notice that I spaced out all of my rules by tens, and that's in case I need to come back and add a rule later so that I have space in between the other rules. Give your rule a name and a description at the bottom, and then click Add. Now another area for improvement is the supported operating systems. If you deployed your own physical admin center, you'd be able to support Windows 10. 
but in the portal, as of this recording, only Windows servers are supported. And signing in should really be simplified as well. Today, you'd need a local or domain account when you sign in, but soon you'd be able to do this with Azure AD permissions, as you can see from the banner up top. And I'd love to hear the suggestions that you have and how to make this an even more ultimate tool, so comment down below. And the next thing you should do is click right over here to extend Windows Admin Center to your on-prem servers using Azure Arc. Happy learning.